All right, let's ta start talking about yesterday, shall we? Because the wind was pretty remarkable across northern and central Arizona yesterday as dry cold front swept through the region. And here's a look at the peak wind gusts from areas across northern Arizona. Woodruff, which is just out there in Navajo County, south of Holbrook, a 70 mile per hour wind gust. That topped off the speeds for us across Arizona. Winds low, 64 miles per hour. Up on Agassiz Peak here in Flagstaff, 61 miles per hour. Phantom Ranch down in the Grand Canyon, 54 miles per hour. Williams, 48. Page Flagstaff, 46 miles per hour. It's pretty ridiculous out there with the wind yesterday in Woodruff at 70 miles per hour. That's uh, just under hurricane type strength wind gust. So we switch it over to the satellite and today fortunately hallelujah the winds on the decrease throughout the day today cold front we were at the very southern end of it yesterday as it swept through Arizona now this cold front is all the way into the plains and this is where you see this line of thunderstorms starting to develop that is the cold front that kind of just swung right through northern Arizona overnight last night but as it approached was a very strong wind out ahead of it yesterday out of the southwest and even overnight and into the early morning hours some reports of a little bit of grapple coming down for a few few brief minutes at the very end of this front. Well, anyways, now we're on the backside of it. Clear skies across Arizona. Cold air still in place. Still notice some showers rolling through the Intermountain West. Snow on the backside of the front and the northern plains. And then out ahead of it, a very strong line of thunderstorms going. Very typical of what happens with severe thunderstorms in the spring. The cold air out of Canada starting to collide with very warm air right along this front. And these are some severe thunderstorms moving into the Mississippi River Valley. For us today, a little bit of that cold air starting to drain off the Colorado Plateau, still a little bit chilly, as Amber showed you those high temperatures today running a little bit below average. This week is going to feature a uh, big warm up for us. High pressure is building in. Tomorrow we're about 10 degrees warmer than today. On Wednesday we're 10 degrees warmer than tomorrow, so we're about 20 degrees warmer than where we were today by the time we get into mid late week time frame. The warmest temperatures of 2017 are on the way. 43, our high temperature in Flagstaff today, as I mentioned, a little bit below the average of 48 for this time of year. 68, the record high set back in 1910, and we'll be flirting with temperatures in the mid upper 60s here as we get later in the week. Current look outside from the Belmont camera looking up at San Francisco peaks, looking mighty proper with all the snow. 39 degrees right now, clear skies. And uh, winds still gusting to 18 miles per hour. Overnight tonight, clear skies, winds diminishing, and temperatures dropping down into the teens around the Flagstaff region looking for an early morning low. Forecast at 16 degrees. Tomorrow, as I mentioned, about 10 degrees warmer than today. 52 is my forecast high temperature. A mostly sunny day out there tomorrow. And 647 tomorrow is kind of the, the beginning of uh, this warm up that's going to take us through the week. 64 degrees tomorrow for Sedona, 64 also in Prescott, 66 Payson, Winslow, 63 degrees. All right, here's a look at it and uh, it's a week where spring fever really starts settling in this time of year. Temperatures in the 60s feeling quite nice. We're in the mid 60s here as we get into the late portion of the work weekend. It looks like that'll go right on into a very uh, nice spring like weekend ahead.